welcome to the Anime Void, I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about Heights in Fate. Now, much like Heights in the Pokedex, people have been complaining that the Heights in Fate don't really make sense. Honestly, I was one of those people until I actually started doing some research. First, let's start off with the most common complaint, that being Medusa. Now, Medusa is constantly being called very tall, is self-conscious about her height, and all that fun stuff. In the game, she is listed at 172 centimeters, or about 5 foot 6 inches. Now, that's not really that tall. I, myself, am 6 foot tall, or about 182 centimeters. Now, the first reasoning for this could be is that since it's a Japanese game, it could be going from Japan's average heights. The average height for women in Japan is 158 centimeters, or about 5 foot 2, and that could make sense. Because a 4 inch difference can be considered pretty wide. However, Medusa isn't Japanese. While it's fine for her to be called tall by the Japanese, her being self-conscious about her height doesn't really make sense because her height really isn't that off of average, is it? Well, actually, it's been said that ancient Greece women, on average, might have been about 153 centimeters or five foot nothing. So Medusa being half a foot above the average is kind of noticeable and probably could lead to self-conscious issues, especially with her midget sisters be grading her about it. Now, Bodica is another tall character, or is said to be tall. In fact, she's taller than Medusa because Medusa likes standing beside her to look shorter. Bodica is actually only 2 centimeters taller than Medusa at 174 centimeters, which equates to about an inch taller at 5 foot 7. Now, again, she's said to be tall because it's a Japanese game, and she is a decent amount above the average. But she's not self-conscious about her height, because from her time period, heights haven't changed too much. So let's just go with the current average in the UK for women, which is about 5 foot 5, or 164 centimeters. So... She is only slightly taller than average, from her standpoint. Now, one that I was very interested in knowing about is Quetzalcoatl, because she is a goddess, she is ripped, she seems to be very tall and powerful and all that fun stuff. She clocks in at 181 centimeters, or about 5'9". That is shorter than I am, which is disappointing, but then I take in other factors with this research. Let's consider the fact that Quetzalcoatl is technically a human being possessed by a god in a different manner than a pseudo-servant, but still that is the case. That body is human. And let's just say for argument's sake it is a South American human, and given by the blonde hair, let's say a more modern South American woman. Now, finding the average height for South American woman is pretty difficult. So, I cheated a bit and looked up other sources, and specifically, Hispanic and Latino women in America, like USA. Their average height is 156 centimeters, or 5 foot 1. Again, this might be different if we actually went through and did all the averages for every South American country, but for the sake of my own sanity, I'm just ballparking here. It's all ballpark anyway, they're averages. So this would put Quetzalcoatl 8 inches above the average, which is pretty tall. Still not the Amazonian height I was kind of hoping for, but still she is pretty tall in comparison. For all the heights that I was looking at that I was annoyed at and now I'm less annoyed at, one still annoys me and that is the height differential from Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. Anne Bonny is 171 centimeters or about 5 foot 6. Okay, fine. 
I'm fine with their heights generally, but here's the part where I have a problem. Mary Reed is 158 centimeters tall, or about 5 foot 1. Do you see the problem? How in the world? She is about half the height in this picture, but there's really only a 5 inch difference. Now a 5 inch difference is noticeable, very much so, but that is half the height. Who did this? So yeah, that that's still annoying. Annoying as all hell. But looking at these heights in context, I'm actually less annoyed about them. I was going into this thinking that, oh, I'm going to lambast the devs and creators and all that stuff about messing with the heights and they make no sense. But really, the ones that I found had the most glaring problems kind of sorted themselves out and make sense in so many different contexts. So I don't really know what to do with myself now. Uh, I guess I'll ask you guys, what do you think about the Heights and Fate? Uh, did this video perhaps change your opinion like it did mine? Leave a comment down below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss an upload from me, and I'll catch you next time in the void. Later.